Hello, I'm Shai Silverleaf, and welcome to part four of this series, Round Split to Flat Join, covering color work using two colors. Let's get started. Now, when doing color work flat, I do not weave the tails in until the very, very end, or actually any. And the reason is, is you never know when you have to go back, and it would be a royal pain to untie all of these strands. When I'm done, like with this gauge swatch, what I did was I went down along the sides and I knotted a blue with a white on each one, on both sides, except in this case. At the bottom, I ended up knotting a blue and a white together and then a white and a white together because I didn't have a, a blue to match. Using these two methods, there's really no change when going from the round joint or excuse me, going from the round to the flat using the round joint. You just drop the yarn like you usually do. However, when working flat, you're going to find in this little swatch that I'm cooking up to make this cute little skirt in full scale for me. Sorry. There, in case I moved it away too quickly. All right. Going back to this, as you can see, what I did this is the easiest way to do color work that I find, and that's just change one of the colors of your yarn. However, keep in mind that the second yarn that you're working off, or in the case of working it flat, doing the top, excuse me, the return pass, to use the correct terminology, will be pushed in the background. Okay, so the first yarn will be your overlay, is what I call it, and the second yarn will be the background, no matter how you do it. Now, when doing it flat, as you can see, I have all these rotten tails to weave in later on. That's the downside of doing this particular kind of color work using two colors. It was the same with this little mitt that I made for somebody very cute and special. Is what you don't see, let's see if I can pull that out, is all the tan, <coughs> excuse me, all the tan and pink tails, actually this color is called oatmeal, tails all woven in. See, there happens to be one of them and there's another and I had to get very creative so that they wouldn't all stack up and pile up in one place before I attach the sun. Now, there is something a little special about what you do when you're doing the flat joint using color work. This particular yarn happens to be Patton's Grace. This is white. This, I want to say the color is sky blue. I'm not 100% on that. Once again, I lost the label on this. I need to keep better track of them. Anywho, let me get some lovely yarn for us. Okay, I've already worked the forward pass flat. Now, I've come to the salvage edge, okay? Go ahead and work one half of the salvage edge like you normally do, which is yarn over, pull through one. Okay, now I need to drop the white and pick up my second color, which is my light blue, do the pinch, yarn over, pull through one. That allows me to transition from the first color to the second color, so it looks nice and neat. I have the white along the edge, but I have blue going all along the top. There's no extra little bit of white here that throws it off. Yarn over, oop, come on. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way back. Okay, now the reason I have so many tails, as you can very plainly see, is I worked the white going in this direction, but the blue goes back in this direction, and I need the blue to start over here, but it ends over here, and it's the reverse with the white. It starts over here, ends over here. So, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, so I have to cut it on this end to bring it back over to this end, or vice versa. Oh, come on, function. Mm, there we go. Oops. Okay, now I've got to the very first stitch of the return pass. If I were 
continuing to do this flat, I would drop the blue and pick up the white so that when I pulled it through, I'll show you with the blue, pull it through, if this was white, what I just pulled through is the first stitch of the next row, and it looks right. Otherwise, I would have a blue edge going up along here. Now, with the flat, what you do is you pick up the six or seven stitches, like I said um, in the previous video, okay? You're going to turn this around. Come on, you. Do your pickup. Now, it may be a little harder to find where it goes. Okay. Pull that down. Okay. You're going to want to go right. Well, let me come down here and show you where you want to go. Right. Here is your side V. Okay. It's a little mixed up. You've got this big piece right here. You may want to pull it kind of tight. This big, there's your vertical. Okay. Turn it sideways. And there's your side B. You're going to go in between those two. Okay. But up here. There they are. In my case, they happen to be near the tail of the last place I was. See, not up here, but down here. Okay, don't cut off the second color, in my case, the blue. Okay, yarn over and look. Believe it or not, your make sure your blue is above your work before you, your second color is above your work. Okay, slide it in. Take your second color, which is still attached to here, okay, yarn over, it'll be a little awkward, oh come on, but I'm also using this yarn to pull them together nice and tight. Pull through a loop, okay, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and then just continue working, and it's actually a lot easier to work in the round using this particular style of color work than it is to do it flat. Because it's just with with working in the round, you're working with two yarns anyway, so all you're doing is swapping the color of the second one. Not that big a deal. Okay? Hope you have enjoyed the series. Thanks for watching part four. I hope you've had as much fun making these knits as I have. This is Shy Silverleaf, and I will see you next time with Hooks at the Ready.